Bet. Broadcasting live from Dallas Cowboys training camp in Oxnard, California. Now, here's Shannon. Hey, it's Tuesday, I think. And I think we only have two more days out here, man. And then we go to Hawaii. But I'm joined today by a great friend of the show, Kayvon Frazier. How's it going, Kayvon? What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Good, man. How are you? I'm doing good. Yeah? yeah. You moving kind of slow. You tired? You sore? What? No, I'm just a little sleepy. I just, <laughs> I just woke up from a nap. So, <laughs> how things been going, man? We we're almost at the end out here in, in uh, Oxnard, heading to Hawaii uh, in a couple of days. Um, is, is it starting to be a grind? You, you ready to get back home? Yeah, I mean, I I'm pretty sure everybody is ready to you you know get back home by now. But um, but no, I I mean I I didn't really I still don't even feel like it's starting to be a grind yet. Um, obviously. Physically, you know, some people are a little banged up, but yeah. you know, this is what we love to do, man. So, you know, it's not really a grind if you love it. Yeah. Speaking of, you got to finally hit somebody in a different color uniform uh, yeah. Saturday. How was that? Man, it was great, yeah. man. Like, um, you know, we've been hitting our teammates so much, it just, it just, it just felt good hitting somebody else. Mm-hmm. So what's uh, What's been going on in, in the personal life? You got a, mm-hmm. you got a, you had the family out earlier in camp. Beautiful baby girl, cutest, gr- cutest girl at camp, <laughs> man. So, what, what's been going on with the family since we saw you last? Uh, nothing. We, um, obviously, y'all know about my little one, uh, mm-hmm. who's one years old. Um, my little baby Callie. Um, I got married this past off season, and we got another one on the way. Hey, congratulations! Yeah, yeah, is, it, is it boy or girl? Do you know yet? We don't know yet. We hoping for that boy, but you know, we just just praying for a healthy baby. Yeah, yeah. You, you're outnumbered now. You need to need yeah, a boy to even yeah, that out a little bit. Got to. A lot of guys yeah. having having kids and second kids on the team. Uh, Justin was, uh, you know, March was was yep, with yep. me yesterday. He's mm-hmm. he's got one, got another one on the way, and then man, there was a whole. Whole crew of kids out here earlier in camp. So yeah, man, it's, it's, it kind of seems like they all all the, the uh, wives got together and they planted it or something. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you? Uh, is there anybody on the team that you hang out with during the off season or, or do uh, stuff with? Off the yeah, field? I mean, I hang out with Jamil Showers a lot. Mm-hmm. He actually, uh, I mean, I know if y'all follow him on Instagram, he got one on the way too. His baby, his baby is due like around the same time that that my baby is due. Oh, that'll be fun. Uh, yeah, yep. So Jamil, Jamil is one of my closest friends on the team that, uh, you know, we train together, we we uh, work out together. Um, you know, we just we just be hanging out. Yeah. Anything yeah. different for you? This is, this is what, year four for you? Four, yep. Is there anything yep. different now than it's been in the past, or is it just kind of you're just older and wiser? and? Yeah, man, just older and wiser and, uh, you know, figuring out my body. Uh, finally being able to uh, figure out what I need to do to recover faster and, you know, all the little stuff. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's just what it is, just being older and wiser and more experienced. Yeah, you bet you getting to be one of the old guys on the team after four know, years, man. man. Got all crazy. these young dudes on the team. <laughs> and then, then, then you got grandpas like, like Tyron and Witt and, like, yeah. all the LP, all the old, old men. It's crazy, yeah. <laughs> man, it's definitely – you know, it's definitely a blessing being here for four years now. Um, you know, I learned so much about me, about, you know, my teammates, you know, really about uh, about everybody. And, you know, it's a blessing being here. Yeah, how's the team, the, the, the team chemistry? It seems like um, you got a lot of really good dudes off the right. field in the locker room, and y'all seem like y'all – Y'all are a really tight group, both on and off the field. Is yeah, I think this is one of the closest teams that you know I've been a part of since I, especially since I've been here. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, obviously I haven't been to any other uh, teams, but you know I can't imagine there's many teams as close as we are. Yeah, tell me a little bit about. I know you got to get to practice here shortly, but tell me a little bit about. Uh, for anybody that listens to the show, you've been on several times. We always talk about your foundation, Kayvon yep. Care, or Fraser Cares. Yep. You do a lot of really cool stuff for for people that need things. What are what are some of the things you did last year, and then yep. how's that growing? And and what are you planning on doing? So last this year, year um, our big uh, thing that we did every Friday was Fraser for Fraser Fridays is when I was taking uh, a different middle school in Frisco uh, to tour the star. This year, um, we was talking about doing it with uh, Dallas, but we're at, we're actually going to do something else with Dallas. Um, 
we're going to have uh, Frazier Cure's Closet because, I mean, everybody that knows me knows I'm into fashion, too. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I like clothes. I got a lot of clothes. Um, and I'm sure a lot of my teammates and everybody else, you know, especially in, like, North Dallas, got, you know, a lot of clothes that we can donate. So um, we're going to have a Frazier Cure's Closet in South Oak Cliff High School. Um, and that will just be a place where they can go in because um, they have – a lot of homeless kids that go to their school so Mm -hmm. um we did some research on that and they'll just be a place that they can go in and um and really just pick out clothes it'll kind of be like a a salvation army type thing Mm, that's awesome yeah yeah so um so that's the big project that we're working on that i think we're going to launch um in january Mm -hmm. january 2020 um we're still going to do fraser fridays this year we uh passed out 150 laptops to all of or to four different schools in DISD uh, and that's something that I partnered up with HP and cons uh, for um, and I think we did that some months back so yeah man we just, we just got a lot of stuff going on we, we keep building we got the mentorship program coming up uh, that we'll be uh, doing probably starting this this season actually mm-hmm. so Man, it's just a lot of stuff, and we, you know, we just like to, we like to stay active. We like to stay, stay busy. Um, yeah. Especially the time that we have outside of football, uh, that's what we like to do. Yeah, that's awesome, man. It's it's great that you that you give back and that you now have the platform. You know, four years ago when you were out here on this field, I remember you were you were just trying to make the team and you yeah. know just trying to be here. And you you've been around, and you know you're you're always a guy that anytime we ask you to do something, I mean you're a genuinely good person, and you always do whatever we ask and it's great to see you know when you bring the kids in there on Fridays like you know you don't have to take the time to to go out of your way and stay late and do all that stuff and you do and that's man it's great that you're you're grateful for the opportunities that you have on the field but also using that platform to influence people off the field that's a cool thing to see man yeah and I appreciate that and we all come from humble beginnings we are uh, blessed to be in the position that we in so um, that's one thing I try to do to you know to, to to show how blessed I am yeah, that's awesome. I know you got to get to practice. We're going to get you on the show whenever we get back to Frisco, spend a little bit more time with you, and uh, keep us posted on uh, what how Frazier's Closet does. We'll, cool. I mean, we'll make it. We'll, we'll go cover it on social and put it on uh, the website and all that, and then uh, we'll do some stuff with Frazier uh, Fridays again this year too. So Cool, cool. Let's do it. All right, man. Good seeing you. Thanks for hanging right. out. We uh, Hopefully we'll have one more show tomorrow before we load up and go to – have you ever been to Hawaii before? Never been to Hawaii. I'm really excited, actually. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Get to cross it off my bucket list. Yeah. Well, I, I officially don't until I go with my wife. So There you go. <laughs> Smart answer. Smart yeah. answer. <laughs> so I can't cross it off yet. All right. Well, we're heading to Hawaii Thursday. Hopefully we have one more show. Don't know who it will be. Um, and then after that, we'll see you guys back in Frisco and Dallas. Hanging with the boys. This has been a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about this, Cowboys? Yeah!